everybody. We are Pedro Garcia and Marco Rupere. We are presenting the team Brutal and going to the challenge Vision for Startup Village. Uh, Pedro is a marketing worker and me, I'm a freelance consultant on energy. Sun and mountains are very important for our project. That's why we choose Verdun as a village because also have the influence over 2,000 population around the area. It is also in the north of Spain, which is the area we have more control of or we are more activity. In the 60s in Spain, there were a rural exodus because people from the village go to the city to get industry, to get education and get their opportunities for their families and different offers. Verdun's economy is based on 60% farmers, 30% tulips and 10% rest of economies. These uh, economies don't have potential to attract many population. That's why we are thinking on a new different sector or economy. That's why we choose a new sector, which is information and technology sector, to be increases in Verdun. Because uh, uh, it just needs internet, not like logistic, like the other industrial sector. And also because there is an opportunity for the industry in terms of creativity and work in a more relaxed place. We identify eight barriers that doesn't allow the technological sector to grow in Verdun. Those are lack of examples to follow with challenge, personal challenge, ignorance of the rural reality, lack of residential rental, lack of technological supply, little technological networking, bad internet connection, poor vision of the, of the opportunity. And these are the barriers we are dealing with. We are the proposed development model is to bring people from cities so that they have relation with people from the village, so that at the end, those relations make the social impact that we need for those people that, go, that come from the cities to finally uh, decide to move to the rural environment. Uh, at the same time, the natives who maybe studied in the city, they will have the opportunity to remain in their village thanks to this process. The objectives of this rural technology center is to attract people from cities, that they are teleworkers, also to attract companies to build hubs in this place, also to motivate and advise people who already live in the area uh, and um, to, in technological projects, and to be the epicenter of development of the technological sector or industry in the area. What are the international dynamics? Well, uh, we would like to create three communities the first community is the itinerant community. This is the community of workers, teleworkers, uh, uh, small departments of companies that uh, are willing to come to, to try the experience of being uh, related with the local uh, people of the village. These people come usually one week, two weeks, one month. Then the, we have the local community. This community is the people that already live in the village. And at the end, we have the resident community. This is a group of five people who already have a job that they can move physically um, because they work on digital uh, assets. So they can come to live to Verdun and they compromise with the project for at least one year. And they are going to be the host of this center. They will welcome the itinerant community and integrate them with the local community. Okay, and what is this building plan? Well, in Verdun, there is a, a building, it's an old grain uh, that was abandoned about 30 years ago, and we want to restore this building uh, with maximum energy, energy, energy standards and material efficiency. Uh, we would like that this building, it's the best to promote the relationship between the three communities that we would like uh, to, to join in this center, right? We, we would like to join people from cities, with the people from villages as the easiest way that, that we find possible. Here you can see some pictures of how it looked. This is how the building will look in the future, 10 rooms with bathroom on the tower, a co-working with 25 seats, a dining room, and a, a good entrance that uh, will go to the recreation room, meeting rooms, and also a sport center, so that all the communities can enjoy here uh, and make their activities. Examples of activities uh, for the communities are visit local businesses, agro-tourism for creativity, to train digital skills, uh, sport, hiking, theme uh, for the business that stays. 
The implementation strategy of the project is divided in 24 months. There are three phases. In the first phase, you start with the initial financing, uh, the dynamic development, the recruit of resident community, the dynamization of activities. And the phase two, you start building the, this uh, all grain uh, storage building. And on the last phase, you have an operative center that attracts people from cities, that uh, relation with people from villages so that at the end, companies will build hubs in the surroundings.